I'm about to show you how you can add custom music into your Fortnite creative maps. You may have seen some of these insane music tile maps like this one. Now that's not what I'm talking about today, guys. I'm talking about adding music into your maps to enhance the player's experience. Like watch this experience here from Paranoia Tantrum 2 made by Word Andrew. Oh my gosh, my legs. Oh my gosh, what's that? Did you know you are a plant? What? Oh, get me out of here, I'm dying so fast. Can you even imagine this experience right here without that added layer of music in the background? It would be a very, very different thing. A lot more anticlimactic, just not as fun and cool. So what I want to cover today, guys, is a couple of things. First, I want to go over some of the basic things you can use in Fortnite Creative to add music without having to compose anything. Then I want to actually go into some of the principles of writing original music. Just very simple melodies and things that can add just that little, little bit to your maps. Let's just talk about some basic things in Fortnite Creative when it comes to music. So you've got your radio and your speaker, and then in the galleries, you have your music tiles right here. Okay, so just adding in some music like this can add a depth to your map. Now, I don't always love to add the just generic music, but you'd be surprised at just even how like a little bit of something just adds to the feeling, right? So you have a lot of options here. I hope at some point, Epic adds more options, but even like having ambient crickets in there just adds a depth that you can't have any other way. Ambient drips, I mean, there's a lot of different options here. I especially like the dark tilted stuff. I think it's really cool. Now, some of the settings you want to like really pay attention to with the radios is the audio distance. So if it was at one, I can hear it at this distance, but as soon as I move away from it, it turns off, right? So you can change that distance or you can make it so that the whole island can hear it. You can change how loud it is and then they can turn on and turn off when receiving from channels. So that's really gonna be your most important thing there. And then the speaker here is, I think, even a more powerful tool than the radio. So one little tip here is when you're trying to listen to sounds is change the re-trigger behavior to restart. That way, whenever you hit it, it plays. Because if it's on ignore, then it doesn't hit every time, right? It's like every like 10 times or something. I just learned that from KK actually. This can activate when receiving from channels, but even more important than activating from channels, you can trigger it with your sequencers. So you can set up certain sequences or music using the speakers. And I'll show you what that sounds like in just a second. And then you get your music tiles. There's so many options here with your music tiles, right? And I'll let you guys play with that. Now, one of the things that I think is important to know when it comes to setting up music sequencers is that when you change the tempo of the sequencer to 60, every block is one second. So that's the setting I really like to use because I can conceptualize a song based on time. So that's one second. And that would mean that every block here is worth a quarter note, basically. So it would be one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Okay, so let me show you some of the music that I made and the progression on how I got to this point. Okay, let's take a listen to what I had originally composed. So it starts off with like the heartbeat right here and we've got like four beats and then some music comes in, right? We're eight seconds, 10 seconds in now. Once again, each block is worth one second. And then now we get in to just more of this music. And then once we finally get over here, the heartbeat picks up. Boom, boom, boom. Okay, and now we're over here. We're over halfway at this point is when things get a little bit more intense. Sorry, words making noises over there. Or actually, that's KK. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. Okay, last 12 seconds here. See, it's getting more intense, more intense. Boom, oh, right? Nice and simple. So I wanted it to be pretty simple, but I also wanted it to build up. So we made some adjustments, threw in more sound effects, more layers, and then this is what we had. And big shout out to Word Andrew and KK. They really helped with uh, making this much better. So that's one tip I have for when you're building maps is to get other opinions, get more people building with you. That way your product becomes way nicer because multiple people have had a chance to look at it, test it, give feedback. You just have a better product. Okay, let's take a listen. So we have our heartbeat like before. 
And one of the changes we made here was to kind of take out some of the music here. We just added two notes, right? This way it feels more like build up. We also took out one of the notes here. So bum 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 bum. Okay, and then we have that normal tune that we originally had with the extra heartbeats. So it feels like we're building up a little bit more. Boom, cut, just the heartbeat. Okay, then this part's the same. Build up, right? Feeling more intense, this guy, like, your heart's feeling this. Okay, the end is where there's a lot of changes. Boom, 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 boom. Okay, right here, adding some extra sounds. Boom. Let me show you kind of what we added. We added in some of these sounds, right? So we have some like monster sounds coming in on the side or on the background. You know, we have sounds like this. That's just adding that extra sound that you're like, oh, what is that? You know, this sound as well. This is blending in with the music. Another sound right here, you know, bum, 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 bum. And that's timed. So that's all ending at the right time as well. This one too. So all of that just adds to that final stanza. Here we go. Let's play it again. So it builds up, and then you hear those extra noises. Boom. Choo -choo -choo -choo. So it's a combination, guys, of the music tiles with the sound effects. This is what we're calling layering, and you can actually, like, physically see the layers here. Layer one, two, three, four, five, six, right? We've got six layers all hitting at the exact same time. So you get this really cool, crazy sound that's adding to this intensity as someone's trying to finish a puzzle in their last four seconds. Okay, so here's all the layers. Boom. So layers are so important, whether you're building a awesome castle, a haunted house, or if you're composing music, right? It doesn't have to be so complex here, right? The, the general like tune here is just boom, boom, boom. And there's a few other chords going on right here, but basically it didn't need to be this complex. It could have just been the one note, right? Like I originally had, but this music is going to add so much to the experience and intensity of each level. So I know I just went over some basic things today. We were talking talking about just basic music things that you can add to your map that's going to really enhance that experience. I can't wait to see what you guys do. I know you guys are amazing. You're better composers, better creators than I am. Now show me what you can do with the custom music, guys. I can't wait!